Our need for speed has created some of the greatest inventions mankind has ever seen, including the legendary British Spitfire, a World War II fighter plane that could outturn and outrun its Nazi opponents, helping win the Battle of Britain. But incredibly, this 350 mile per hour triumph of engineering will inspire an invention that will revolutionize the life of every parent around the world. The McLaren Baby Stroller. The real ingenuity of the baby buggy is the fact that you can fold it up. We throw it in the back of our cars, right along with our luggage, and the baby buggy goes everywhere we do. That never happened before. The story begins in London, England in 1964. A grandfather visits his local airport to wait for the arrival of his beloved grandchildren. Owen McLaren, businessman, former test pilot, and aircraft engineer. At the time, Anne Hamilton, Owen McLaren's granddaughter, was just a babe in arms. This photo is the reason why the baby buggy was invented. Uh, my grandfather saw his daughter, my mother, with two small children, me and my brother, uh, traveling, flying. My father worked for an airline. Anne's father struggles to carry the baby carriage off the plane. It's a clumsy heavyweight design that hasn't changed much since its invention over 200 years ago. And I'm sure my mother was just pulling her hair out. They were so unwieldy, it was a pain in the neck. McLaren sees the need for a newer, better stroller, and he thinks he may have a solution. He turns back the clock to over 20 years earlier. In 1938, Owen McLaren is part of a team of engineers tasked with helping to design the Spitfire. As war looms, they work frantically on a new landing gear that can fold away into the Spitfire's wing. If the team can save even a millimeter of space, the Spitfire will fly faster and turn more quickly, essential when fighting in aerial combat. All of this mechanism needs to be got up into the wing. And you can see above me here, the wheel well, it's about 10 inches. At the back end of it, it's only about six inches, so there's not a lot of space for them to play with when they were designing it. McLaren's wartime expertise means he can design strong, lightweight mechanisms that fold into small spaces. He's confident he can use this know-how to improve upon the way that traditional strollers work. He builds a handmade prototype made of lightweight aluminum tubing and fabric from a deck chair. You can very clearly see the moving joints, the use of the X at the rear, and the locking system at the back keep the whole structure rigid. McLaren's design relies on two simple X-shaped folding mechanisms, one underneath and one at the back of the stroller. This allows his buggy to become narrower as well as flatter, saving space and weight. He took engineering skills from one industry and applied them into something that was completely new. That was the clever part. In 1967, McLaren launches his revolutionary stroller. It's a worldwide hit, selling in over 50 countries. Today, McLaren is still a market leader in an industry worth over $800 million in Europe. All thanks to a grandpa with a heart whose vision helped every parent in the world. Every time I see a McLaren baby buggy with a kid in it, I think, oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> and I think of him.